The city didn't have walls, but it did have a number of guard towers spaced around it. Her pathway led down from the hills and joined with a larger road, which eventually stopped in a line of people awaiting permission to get into the city. How on Roshar did they manage to cut away so much rock? Windle formed a pile of vines beside her. Shard blades. Oh. Oh, those, yes, those. Hmm. I should get me one of those, huh? Oh. I figure the darkness has one, right? He fought with one when he was trying to kill me and Gox, so I ought to find one. Yes, you should do just that. Let us pop over to the market and pick up a legendary, all-powerful weapon of myth and lore worth more than many kingdoms. I hear they sell them in bushels following spring weather in the east. Shut it, Voidbringer. You know something about shard blades, don't you? The vines seemed to wilt. You do? <gasps> Out with it. What do you know? He shook his vine head. Tell me. It is forbidden. You must discover it on your own. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm discovering it from you. Tell me or I'll bite you. What? What? I'll bite you. I'll gnaw on you, void bringer. You're a vine, right? I eat plants. Sometimes. Even assuming my crystals wouldn't break your teeth, my mass would give you no sustenance. It would break down into dust. It's not about sustenance. It's about torture. Windle surprisingly met her expression with his strange eyes grown from crystals. Honestly, mistress, I don't think you have it in you. <sighs> He wilted further, but didn't tell her the secret. Oh, well, Storms. It's good to see him have a backbone. Or, well, what plants have, whatever that is. Back bark? You're supposed to obey me. She shoved her hands in her pockets and headed along the path toward the city. You ain't following the rules. I am, indeed. You just don't know them. And I'll have you know that I'm a gardener and not a soldier, so I'll not have you hitting people with me. How did I hit anyone with you? He wilted so far, he was practically shriveled. They merged with the larger road, turning toward the tower that was a gateway into the city. So this is where we were going all along? This city cut into the ground? Yep. You could have told me. I'd been worried we'd be caught outside in a storm. Why? It ain't raining anymore. The weeping, oddly, had stopped. Then started again. Then stopped again. It was acting downright strange, like regular weather, rather than the long, long, mild high storm it was supposed to be. I don't know. Something is wrong, mistress. Something in the world. I can feel it. Did you hear what the Alethi king wrote to the emperor? About a new storm coming, one that blows the wrong way? Yes. The noodles all called that silly. Noodles? The people who hang around Gox, talking to him all the time, telling him what to do, and trying to get me wear a robe. The viziers of Asia, head clerks of the empire, and advisors to the prime. Yeah, wavy arms and blubbering features. Noodles. Anyway, they thought that angry guy... High Prince Dalinar Kulin, de facto king of Alethgar and the most powerful warlord in the world right now. Yeah, I was making stuff up. Maybe... But don't you feel something out there building? A distant thunder. Or or the way you feel after someone drops a pan and you see it falling and get ready for the clatter it will make when it hits. So you do feel it. Maybe. Don't your Voidbringer friends know about this? We're not... <clears throat> lift. We're Sprin, but my kind... Cultivation spin are not very important. We don't have a kingdom or even cities of our own. We only moved to bond with you because of the cryptics and the honor spin, and everyone was starting to move. Oh, we've jumped right into the sea of glass, feet first, but we barely know what we're doing. Everyone who had any idea of how to accomplish all this died centuries ago. Everything is wrong, and nothing makes sense. Bonding to you was supposed to be more difficult than it was, I gather. Memories come to me fuzzily sometimes, but I do remember more and more. I didn't go through the trauma we all thought I'd endure. That might be because of your unique circumstances. But, Mistress, listen to me when I say something big is coming. This was the wrong time to leave Asia. We were secure there. 
You'll need security. There isn't time to get back. No, there probably isn't. At least we have shelter ahead. Yeah, assuming darkness doesn't kill us. Darkness? The skybreaker who attacked you in the palace and came very close to murdering you? Yeah, he's in the city. Didn't you hear me complaining that I needed a shard blade? In the city? In Yedor, where we're going right now? Yep, the noodles of people watching for reports of him. A note came in right before we left, saying he'd been spotted in Yedaw. Wait. Windle zipped forward, leaving a trail of vines and crystal behind. He grew up the back of a chell cart, curling onto its wood right in front of her. He made a face there, looking at her. Is that why we left all of a sudden? Is that why we're here? Did you come chasing that monster? Of course not. That would be stupid. Which you are not. Nope. Then why are we here? They got these pancakes here with things cooked into them. Supposed to be super tasty. And they eat them during the weeping. Ten varieties. I'm going to steal one of each. You came all this way, leaving behind luxury to eat some pancakes? Really awesome pancakes. Despite the fact that a deific shard bearer is here, a man who went to great lengths to try to execute you. He wanted to stop me from using my powers. He's been seen other places. The noodles looked into it. They're fascinated by him. Everyone pays attention to that bald guy who collects the heads of kings, but this guy has been murdering his way across Roshar, too. Little people. Quiet people. And we came here. Why? Seem like as good a place as any. Wendell let himself slide off the back of the cart. As a point of fact, it most expressly is not as good a place as any. It is demonstrably worse for- Sure I can't eat you. That would be super convenient. You got lots of extra vines. Maybe I could nibble on a few of those? I assure you, mistress, that you would find the experience thoroughly unappealing. Hunger Spren appeared, like little brown specks with wings floating around her. That wasn't odd. Many of the folks in line had attracted them. I got two powers. I can slide around, awesome, and I can make stuff grow. So I could grow me some plants to eat? It would almost certainly take more energy and stormlight to grow the plants than the sustenance would provide as determined by the laws of the universe. And before you say anything, these are laws that even you cannot ignore, I think. Who knows when you're involved? I'm special. Also, hungry. More hungry than special right now. 